Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. The Misfits small council meeting happened today and it was actually a good watch. But when I'm looking in the comments, a lot of people are not rating Keem in this thing at all. Within the meeting, they did actually touch on it just a little bit about how the public reacted to Keem being added onto the Misfits Council. You can see by all these comments right here, literally every other comment is about Keem being in the Misfits Council and how he adds nothing. And Mams even spoke out on Twitter about Keem being in the Misfits Council and the public's reaction. To me, I understand both sides. Like, I get what the public is saying because removing BJ for the racism, but then adding Keem when he said some stuff in the past that were racist, it's like, I don't really get that. But I get it that even though Keem doesn't have boxing knowledge, he has social media knowledge and he adds that part to the influencer boxing scene because it is influencer boxing not just normal boxing so that influencer social media side is needed and Keem does he does add that aspect to it you know like he knows a lot about social media so I can see both sides as to why they did it within the Misfits Council meeting they also address Slim and Slim has been like the main topic when it comes to influencer boxing this past week because of the things that he pulled at the Misfits event the past one at Misfits 12 where he was calling out KSI face to face because that's what people want to see like people like Wade were telling swim were telling Slim, I nearly called him Swim in my days. But people like Wade were saying on YouTube that Slim shouldn't just call him out on social media and then in person be all friendly. But people like Wade still wasn't feeling the way Slim called him out. Half semi chub call out of KSI. Where essentially, he on Twitter says he wants to fight KSI. And in person, in some ways, kind of says he wants to fight KSI, but also goes out the, oh, thank you for the opportunities, KSI. I don't want you to hate me. I don't want to ruffle any feathers type thing. It's so fucking annoying to see because, again, it's wish washy. It doesn't make us take you seriously. It makes us believe that you don't even want the fight. I may not be doing it justice explaining this verbally, but I'm going to show you a video to illustrate right. what I mean. Before even talking about a fight, he's lost this interaction. It didn't look like he was serious about the call out. It looked like he was begging. It just looked like a gimmick. It looked YouTube. -y. It didn't look real. If KSI is sitting there in your face, if you're slim, you, you have to address him with some sort of point. Confidence. Like, I know, man, listen, everybody here kisses your ass because they're the owner of the company. That's cool, but I want to be the number one guy. And the only person that we fought that's a mutual opponent, I knocked him out first, served him to you on a silver platter, and said, This is how you win. Now go do it like I did it. Just I get what Wade is saying. Like, Slim definitely could have done that in a better way. It he just didn't have enough confidence, you know? And I think it's hard for Slim to do this because I remember all the way back to Misfits 1 when he knocked out Temper and then KSI called out Slim on that night when he had that fight against Swarms and Pineda. He called out Slim on that night and Slim did not want to fight KSI because he looked at KSI as this guy who's given him this opportunity. He didn't want to fight him. Own team are shouting your name up to be KSI's next opponent. How realistic is that? I, I, I don't know, man. Honestly, we gotta see what's up. I'm gonna go back to my team, see what's up. I have love for KSI. I actually love KSI. He's like, if it wasn't for him, I would not have this opportunity. So shout out to KSI, shout out to Mrs. Boxing. I have so much love for them. Like seriously, like this opportunity changed my life. So I, I, like, I'm so grateful to KSI and his team, you know, and, and Misfits, you know, and names. That's why when he's trying to call him out face to face, it's looking all awkward, and he's not really doing it with enough vim and enough confidence is because I feel like that's still in his mind that he's looking at him like this guy who's given him this opportunity but Slim has to get that out of his mind and just just come with him like come like you want to fight the guy you know like just give something you know in the Misfit small council meeting Mams talked about the Slim versus KSI fight and why he's not really down to do it I, I addressed this uh Slim obviously calling out KSI um for, I've spoken to JJ about it, and he's uh, he's like game for he, he wants to fight, but he's got a couple of massive options, right? Um, and for me, this one I'll take I'll take on the chin. I want to protect Slim from potentially getting knocked the hell out, right? That happens. It's it doesn't do any favors for JJ to go from and no disrespect to Slim, but go from Tommy Fury to Slim. It doesn't do him any favors. The Jake Paul fans will be like, oh look, you know Jake's fighting all these uh, ten and O pros, and you're fighting Slim. That's what they're gonna say. That's the perception, and. Um, for Slim, if he loses that fight in a in a devastating fashion, it stops his stock from rising. 
you know, and he's he's undefeated. Wade made a tweet and responded because Happy Punch posted it. It was either Happy Punch or IFN. I'll put it on the screen. He responded to what Mam said. It's here on the text. And I can't lie. A lot of people are disagreeing with what Wade said. You can read this tweet and see what he said. But I agree with him because it's true. I don't understand why them trying to protect Slim is an excuse for the fight not to happen. Like, that's not a valid excuse to me. You can't be like, I don't want this fight to happen because I don't want Slim. There's a chance that Slim could lose and then his stock will go down. Like, that's not a valid excuse for a fight to happen because you could apply that excuse to all the fighters. I understand that they're trying to build Slim and they're trying to, you know, trying to make him the big pay-per-view star, but he's not there yet. His stock is not even that high. His stock is high in the misfit scene, but like outside of that, unfortunately, he's not a big star. Like no one really knows Slim like that. Like he has 600k subscribers, which is a lot, but the views aren't matching, which means that he doesn't actually have that much pull, unfortunately. Hopefully he'll get there one day, but at this point, he's not there yet. So I don't think Mams can use the excuse of we're trying to protect him and we don't want his stock to get ruined and he might lose to KSI. That's why we don't want to fight him. Like, that's not a valid excuse. So I don't really understand why Wade got so much people disagreeing with him, as you can see in the replies, because what Wade is saying is true. Like, that shouldn't be an excuse. If Slim loses to KSI, oh well, whoopty flipping do. Like, it is what it is. This is the fighting game. People are going to lose and someone's going to win. We can't just be protecting people and cherry picking fights for everyone. Like, but I do understand what Mams is saying when it comes to star power. Like, Slim is not a big star. I think that's a valid excuse for KSI not fighting him because he's just come from fighting Tommy Fury and then he's going to go and fight Slim. Like, I understand that. I think that's a valid excuse. Mams made an interesting tweet saying that the lightweight tournament for the interim title, while our champ is recovering from injuries, details coming soon. That's going to be big, I feel like. That would be very interesting. Anyways, guys, put in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.